Hey everybody, this is Mark from MarkMay.com and this video is the first video of a series of videos on how to get your website up live. Now in this first video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to get a web hosting plan or web hosting package as well as choose a domain name and register for free with your web hosting plan. I'm also going to be sharing with you a couple web terms so that you can really understand what you're paying for and this is all going to be behind the scenes, a behind the scenes look on how to get your website up so that you can see what I'm doing before you actually do it yourself. Now, if you guys don't have any questions, I'm gonna go jump on the screen sharing thingy and yeah, let's go. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to IX Web Hosting. Now you can look in the notes below and you can find the link there or you can go to my website at markandmay.com and scroll down and on the right hand side, you're gonna see where it says, I use this for web hosting and you can click on the image here and it'll take you or redirect you to IX web hosting so we can view the plans and pricing. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here where it says web hosting in the top navigation and it's gonna take us to the hosting plans that they're currently featuring. Looks like they have three of them currently and the first one is expert plan which is $3.95 per month and then on the far right it has the business plus plan which is $7.95 per month and then also the old unlimited pro plan, which is also $7.95 per month. And if you're wondering why these two are the same price is because it's in a special promo currently. And it looks like the unlimited pro is the best deal that we could choose because it has more dedicated IPs and it has more domain name, free domain name registrations. But today we're gonna purchase the expert plan because it's the most popular plan that most people are gonna get when they're first starting out making their website, and it's the cheapest plan. Please keep in mind that you could always upgrade to a Business Plus plan or an unlimited pro plan too in the future. And let's take a look at what this expert plan entails. It says that it includes unlimited disk space, bandwidth, and hosted domains. Basically what that means is disk space. Disk space is the amount of space that you can get to hold all of your files, whether it's your graphics, your multimedia files, like your video files, and even documents. All of these put together make up your website, and it's basically saying you have unlimited space to store your website on. That's a good thing. The other thing that it has is unlimited bandwidth. Now, what is bandwidth? Basically, it's the amount of data that can be transferred at one time. And all you really need to know is, generally speaking, the more bandwidth that you have, the more traffic that your site will be able to handle at one time. So that's cool. We have unlimited bandwidth for our website. And then we also have unlimited hosted domains. Now, this is going to come with one free domain name registration, but if in the future you plan on getting multiple domain names, it's just saying that you can have unlimited websites with web domains on this expert plan. And then also it says here that it has up to two dedicated IPs. Now there's two different types of IPs or, that you could have. The first one is shared and obviously it gives you a free, unlimited free shared IPs, but then it has dedicated IPs. And all you need to know is that you want to switch to a dedicated IP for your website that you're going to be working on. And dedicated IPs are going to give you a higher level of control, and it's also going to give you full access to the entire server, and you're not sharing the server with other people. It's also more secure, and it's going to improve your SEO, or your search engine optimization. So long story short, you want to get a dedicated IP and it's just saying that it's going to give you two free dedicated IPs in here. And then, like I said, it's going to give you free domain name registration. So let's go ahead and choose this expert plan and we're going to buy it right now. And this is the steps that you need to take to buy it. Now I'm here to this page where it's already, I already have all my stuff filled out, but I'm going to go ahead and um, change my email address here to the new one that I created. And I actually created a new Gmail account and I'm planning on calling my website Calorie Muncher. Calorie Muncher. So my email for that is going to be caloriemuncher at gmail.com. Like I said, it has all my information here and here where it says select platform for your hosting domain. Make sure you keep it on Linux. It's the most popular and you do not want to click on Windows. 
whether or not you're using Windows on your computer or your phone or whatever, don't click on Windows. And if you want to know why, just click here where it says why choose Linux or Windows. If you don't know what you're doing, keep it on Linux. And it's just telling us here that our export plan is $3.95 per month, dedicated, blah, 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 unlimited, all of this stuff. And then it says here, make sure that you uncheck here where it says free domain privacy. Uncheck it. So do not choose free domain privacy plus free SSLs plus domain discounts. You don't need that right now. And just so you know, you could always add it in the future. But currently, you don't want to do this because you don't need domain privacy. You don't need SSL because SSL has something to do with e-commerce and a secured server and also other domain discounts. You don't need this right now. And then here, it's just uh, your payment type. I'm going to choose to pay with my credit card. And then make sure that it's checked here where it says I accept the terms of service and you do not need this checked where it says my billing information is different than my contact information. Unless obviously your billing information is different. Uh, but I'm going to keep that unchecked and then where it says employee code leave that blank and it says here is what you'll receive the expert plan. And currently to get the $3.95 per month web hosting you're going to need to choose a 24 month price dedication. If you choose the 24 month price at $3.95 per month, there's no setup fee. But I'm going to do this just for the demo and I'm going to choose the one month price. And it says here instant account activation free, unlimited bandwidth free, 99.9 .9 uptime, anytime money back guarantee. There you go. And free dedicated IP addresses too. My total is going to be $3.95. Your total is going to either be $94.80 or $142.20. It's up to you, but I'm going to choose this one month. And if there's a promo code, you can apply it here, but I don't have one currently, so I'm going to click on order now. Okay, so it looks like it says here um, you have the hosting, blah, 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 blah. Do I need this? Double server speed? No. Go ahead and uncheck anything else. You don't need anything else right now. You've already purchased what you needed, so uncheck all of this other stuff and click on continue with order. Okay, it says we're already creating your account. This page will refresh in 20 seconds, so I guess we're just going to wait. Okay, it looks like we're ready to go, and I'm going to go ahead and click here where it says the control panel URL. And I saved my password or I put it here for my reference and I'm going to go ahead and click on this link right here so that I will be taken to my control panel. Okay. And then now it's asking me to log in. So I'm going to use my calorie muncher account at Gmail. And then I'm going to put my password here, which I saved for reference. And then we're, I'm going to click on Remember Me, and then I'm going to click on Sign Into My Account. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to need to wait for a, a little bit. It says Processing New, so I'm not going to be able to do too much currently. And uh, so we're going to wait, and I'm going to let you know how long it, it's going to take for that. Okay, cool. It looks like my account is ready, and it took about... 15 to 20 minutes for my account to actually activate. So we're going to go back here to my email and check out the uh, your order has been ready. Um, cool. Dear Mark, great news, blah, blah, blah. You're experiencing websites, blah, blah, blah. Cool. So as you can see here, my first email I got at 1242 a.m. and I got a confirmation where my order has been processed at 101. So that's how long it took for me to actually get my account processed. So now, now that it's um, ready, it says here that we can manage it. But what we're going to do first is click on domain registrations. We have zero currently. And remember, it gives us one free domain name registration. So we're going to go ahead and click this here. And then we're going to also click on register domain name. It's going to open up a new tab and bring us here where we're going to select our web address that we want to choose. And I already have mine in mind. It's going to be called CalorieMuncher.com. And I'm going to check if that domain name is taken yet. 
So when I click on check domain, it's going to go through the process of checking if that domain has been taken by any taken by anyone. And it says, cool, great success. It's available. And I'm going to go ahead and click here where it says register domains for your existing account. We're going to register it with our existing account. And it's going to open up this section here where we can select here where it says use free domain point. We get one free domain name point for our uh, our web hosting that we chose and just make sure to uncheck this where it says yes I want to keep my domain name contact information private for only $9.95 per year you don't need this if you think you need it um, read about that first read about making your domain name and contact information private and that's your choice but I would recommend not clicking this because you could always come back and add it later and then it says here the hosting plans with domain points available and currently we only have one option here it's an expert plan one free domain registration available we're gonna head and gonna go ahead and look down here total cost for these products zero because it's free we're gonna go ahead and continue ordering first let me make sure this is the the correct domain name that I want calorie perfect click on continue ordering and it's gonna give us some other options that we want to do we don't want to click on any of this keep it all free make sure your total cost for your products is zero because that's all we need currently cool so account information it's gonna be my calorie muncher at gmail.com first last name address phone email is all correct make sure that's all correct and then on number three terms of service Make sure you check I have read and accept the IX web hosting terms and services and then we're going to submit the order after we make sure that all of our contact info is correct. And then I'm going to go ahead and click it and I'm going to process my domain name. It's super exciting, huh? This is where you get to be creative. You can choose your own domain name and it says here, thank you for signing up with IX web hosting. Your order is complete. Click on finish and check order status. Cool. So it looks like it's processing the order. It's already ready. And then we're going to jump back here to manage IX web hosting. You can click this or go back to the tab. I'm just going to click this so it you know, goes there from this tab. What we're going to do now is enter our, we're going to go ahead and manage our account, manage our web hosting. And, and to do that, let's go ahead and click here where it says hosting accounts. And then we're going to look at the little penguin here where it says expert plan and we're going to click on manage. This is going to take us to a new tab. But I just wanted to um, give you a quick overview of what this is. When you first get here on the left hand side you have all of the top types of uh, descriptions that you have. You have your user ID, your FTP login, what kind of plan you have, the total traffic that you have for all of your websites combined and your disk quota and also the rest here you can just read that and then here in this bigger section it just has the main section it has your email where you can set up your email and I'm going to show you how to do that in the future or pretty soon FTP manager where you can go in and edit files and also if you need to and then it has your tools your web server databases and support so what we want to look at right now first of all is just your domains we want to click on this and we want to add our domain name that we just bought and mine and for me I bought calorie muncher so I'm going to click on add new domain and I'm going to type in calorie muncher .com. and this plus sign just means that it's correct and we're going to go ahead and click and submit and for your site become your internet register blah, blah 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 continue that's fine and then the web options yes just keep this by default include web hosting include mail services keep that all in and submit it okay so about two minutes went by and it says domain calorie has been added successfully and just a quick overview on this it's just telling your you your domain names if you have any subdomains your IP address and currently this is what I was talking about in the beginning it what it's currently shared IP but later on we're gonna click it on dedicated we're gonna have to wait a little bit let me count how long it's taking so far so once we added our domain name going through here and clicking on uh, add a new domain it's gonna take a while for this to propagate so let's just see how long it takes and I'm gonna fast forward this I'm gonna let you know how long I've waited so far for this to actually for our domain name to show up okay cool looks like our 
our DNS has been propagated or whatever the term is for our domain name. And it took about 12 minutes for mine to actually propagate from when we purchased it purchased it and we added it to our domain name here so cool it looks like this is what it's going to look like when you first get it ready and it's just a default website under construction page i want to do one last thing before we end this video and i'm not actually sure how long this is going to take but we're going to want to click on domains and we want to just go ahead and change this from a shared ip to a dedicated ip so once i click this my website won't be active for a while. I'm not sure how long. I'll let you guys know how long, but um, we're not we're not doing anything to it right now. So let's go ahead and click this and change it to a dedicated IP. And it says, please note that it's gonna it might take 48 hours for this to happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and agree with it. And actually, you know, since I just changed it to a dedicated IP, it doesn't seem like it did anything. So uh, that's a good thing. I'm so glad you guys made it to the end of the first video where we purchased a web hosting plan, we chose a domain name, we registered it and all that other crap. Um, now that we got the boring part done, we can jump on to the next video that hasn't even been made yet. But I'll make it, so just wait a couple days. Alright, let's go.